Way down yonder in the Tennessee hills Gonna do some pan fishing for a crappie and gills You watching this dual creek pan fishing Hey folks, Chris here with Pistol Creek Pan Fishing. Hope you're doing well. You know, it doesn't really matter what you like to call them. Crappie, crappy, specks, socolay, paper mouth, moonfish. There's one thing that remains the same. The pomoxis, or crappie as we call them here in East Tennessee, is just flat out fun to catch. One of the things that makes crappie fishing so much fun, in my opinion, is that there's such a wide variety of different techniques and lures or baits that you can use to catch them with. You can use live minnows or threadfin shad, you can use soft plastics, crankbaits, or you can use an age-old classic, the hand-tied jig. Hand-tied jigs have been a favorite of crappie fishermen everywhere for decades, and for good reason, they catch fish. The underwater action or movement of a well-made hand-tied jig's hard to beat. They have this natural sort of breathing movement to them where those individual fibers just flutter out, and it seems to drive the panfish absolutely crazy. We're gonna be doing a bit of ultralight crappie fishing ourselves today using some gorgeous hand-tied jigs skillfully crafted by a family from the middle of nowhere. Check this out. Hey guys, my name is Matthew. This is my wife Sophie, our son Dylan, and we've got another baby on the way right now. We're excited to meet. Um, a small little history about Rock Creek Bait Company. We have been open for selling jigs for about a year now, working on growing. We're a very strong faith family. We put God first in everything we do. Um, I met Sophie uh, about six years ago now at church. And then we had Dylan, and he will be four this year. I'm gonna be two. You gonna be four. <laughs> He's gonna be four. <laughs> love making jigs. I love crafting every single one. I try to pay attention to detail on everything that I do. I'm the foundry worker, Bobby, the painter, the tire, everything. <laughs> Sophie does all the website stuff, packages all orders, gets all the shipping stuff together and does all that. You can find us on Facebook at Rock Creek Bait Company. We have an Instagram, Rock Creek Bait Company, and our website is rockcreekbaitcompany.com. Matthew and family also have a channel here on YouTube that you can find by searching for Natural State Fishing, where they post all kinds of neat videos of their jig making processes and bunches of crappie, bluegill, and bass that they catch with them. Go check them out yourself sometime and tell them your pal Chris over at Pistol Creek sent you. Now before we hit the water, let's take an up close look at some of those beautiful Rock Creek Bait Company hand tied jigs. As always, thanks for watching. All right, so here we are, Rock Creek Bait Company's handcrafted jigs. Boy, these things are pretty. Rock Creek Bait Company offers their jigs in just about any color scheme you could imagine. A few of my personal favorites so far are the Pink Lady, Blue Sky, the TNC jig, which was created from my buddy Jim over at the next cast, that black and gold combo's dynamite. And maybe my most favorite is this one right here, aptly named the Carrot. I've already caught some nice crappie on this one right here. Here's another awesome thing about Rock Creek Bait Company. If you don't see the colors that you're looking for on their website, let Matthew know and he'll make you some custom jigs in any color you want. How's that for service? Rock Creek's handcrafted jigs are available in several different weights and hook sizes, ranging from 1 80th of an ounce all the way up to a quarter ounce. The 1 64th and 1 80th ounce in particular are gonna be great for micro fishing or catching real small pan fish in urban streams or creeks if you're into that. Matthew uses high quality materials and because these are crafted by hand one piece at a time, you get a level of quality control that's impossible to match with large scale production. These jigs are cleaned up and inspected and free of any issues that come with store-bought baits like painting the eye holes or bent hooks. And here's the best and most important part. The crappie absolutely hammer these things. I've taken the jigs that I purchased out about three different times now, and on all three trips, the crappie were wearing them out. You'll see a few of those fish in the upcoming footage here.
Now while hand tied jigs work just fine by themselves, I always like to fish them the same way I fish soft plastics, and that's by tipping the hooks with attractant pellets like the Berkley crappie nibbles or the crappie magnet slab bites. And if you're a live bait guy, throw a minnow on the hook of one of these jigs and you're going to slay them, I promise you. Now without further ado, let's grab our ultralight rod and reel combo, hop in the Palm Prowler 8 and get after a few of those crappie. Well, there's a good, I mean, a good one. Let's get him out of here. Shoot, yeah, man, that is a good crappie right there. Let's get him out of here. It's a big old slab right there. Beautiful. Look at that big old boy. He's about 11 and a half. Real thick. Yeah, that right there is a nice crappie. Let's turn him loose. There comes a good one. Yeah. Well, this one right here is putting up a fight. Yes. I love it. Another big one. Another big old thick one here. He's about 10 and three quarters. Real well fed. He ain't missing many meals, that's for sure. All right. There he comes. Oh yeah another nice one here a very nice crappie all right so he hit that blue with that sparkle white kind of scarf around its neck I don't know what you call that officially but that little color right there is putting in some work today matt sophie you do good work we've caught a bunch of these little beauties today all right There comes one. Beautiful little fish. Let's let him go here.
they're coming one on the fall. Well, they're gonna like this thing, I can tell already. <laughs> yeah. Another one. Beauty. White crappie. All right. Let's turn him loose. Here comes another one. Huge, yeah. Bring them on. Love these crappie. Now, isn't that a pretty little thing? Got him again. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Got him again there. Another old paper mouse. Here comes one. Check that out. 